A cordial good morning to everyone. We the students of class 8D are here to present a worthwhile skit among you all. This will not only make you enjoy but also teach you a meaningful lesson. So without wasting your precious time, let's get into the skit. This is a story of a neutral family with four members. The smallest member of the family was Sumit. He was quite disobedient and a naughty boy. And his elder sister Nisha was very sensible and a respectful girl. One day while going to the school, Nisha saw a few beggars sitting at the roadside and asking for food. Distressed Nisha quietly walked to her school. It was recess when Sumit and Nisha met. Have you finished your lunch? I haven't eaten my lunch today. But why? Today, on the way to school, I found some beggars asking for food. My mind is filled with concerns for them. Why are you so worried about them? Anyway, I have eaten my food and now I am going back to my classroom. While returning home, Nisha gave her lunch to the beggars. All the beggars thanked her. Sacrifice's fruits is always sweet in taste. Nisha's sacrifice of her lunch gives thousands of blessings. That's the reason why sacrifice is defined as giving something to someone which is important to you in order to get or do something which is more important. Sacrifice is a part of life. It is supposed to be. It is not something to regret. It is something to aspire it. Thank you. Sumit's friend arrived at his home. Sumit's friend Ram belonged to a rich family, while Vivan belonged to a poor family and didn't have many facilities. Come, let's play with my expensive toys. I have also brought some toys like yours. What have you brought, Vivan? He can't even buy new shoes for himself. What are you expecting that he will bring expensive toys? Sumit and Ram started laughing at Vivan. Equality is when things are same in some particular way. Equality may be a state during which everyone has an equal opportunity to prove themselves. No matter race, caste, religion and wealth, it suggests that an equivalent right bounds everyone. This, it makes our nation very distinct when it includes community. And so, achieving true equality can convince be very challenging. Vivan didn't give any reply and rushed out for his home. Nisha saw all the incident and stopped Vivan. She said, Don't get upset. We will teach them a good lesson. Come with me. But how? Nisha took Vivan to Sumit and Ram. You both have disrespected Vivan. Have you heard the story of Sudama and Krishna? No, we haven't. It's okay. I will narrate that to you. After listening to the story, Sumit and Ram felt blamable and apologized to Vivan. Loyalty in general use is a devotion and faithfulness to a nation, cause, philosophy, country, group or a person. The state or quality of being loyal is faithfulness to commitments and obligations. Loyalty is about people who stay true to you behind your back. I think a good friend to me is about trust and loyalty. And a true friendship is one in which everything can be told and nothing will be judged. Sumit and Nisha's aunt arrived at home for lunch. I'm very well aunt. Thank you. Nisha bored and returned to her home, whereas Sumit didn't even notice Aunt Mary as he was busy playing video games. Sumit's mother bought some cookies for Aunt Mary and they began with their family conversation. After a few minutes, Sumit's phone rang. He started talking very loudly to his friend. It disturbed Aunt Mary and his mother's conversation. After this, Aunt Mary felt sad and disrespected and she returned to her home. After her dispersal, Sumit's mother scolded him a lot. You did a very wrong thing today. You should have even said, I'm fine and thank you. 
but you were busy with your video game. Extremely sorry, mom. I promise you that I shall never repeat this again. I will apologize to Aunt Mary also. Honor is the idea of a bond between an individual and a society as a quality of a person that is of both social teaching and personal ethos that manifests itself as a code of conduct and has various elements such as valor, chivalry, honesty and compassion. Respect is the way of treating or thinking about something or someone. And always keep this quote in mind which is said by Miles Cameron that do well act with honesty and respect, not because there is some promised reward, but it is the only way to live. Sumit's mother sent Sumit for buying some grocery items from the store. Sumit went to the store and said, Can you please give me the things mentioned in the list? Yes, sir. Just wait two minutes. I will provide you all the things which you have asked for. Fine, uncle. So these are the things which you have mentioned in the list. And it cost you 115 rupees. Sumit gave 500 rupees to the shopkeeper, but by mistake, the shopkeeper returned 405 rupees to Sumit. Sumit didn't realize it. On the way back to his home, Sumit, uh, Sumit noticed that he has brought 20 rupees more from the shopkeeper. He went back and returned the money to the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper was pleased to see the integrity and honesty of Sumit. The above incident teaches us an important principle of life. That is integrity. Integrity is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principle. It is the ability to think what is right in spite of all odds. A man of integrity stands firmly on what he believes is right and he will never change it for any reason. This reminds me of a famous quote from Warren Buffett that whenever you hire a person, look for three qualities. Integrity, intelligence and energy. If the person doesn't have the first one, the other two will kill you. Integrity is choosing your thoughts and action based on values rather than personal gain. At its simplest, ethics is a system of moral principles. They affect how people make decisions and lead their lives. Ethics is concerned with what is good for individuals, society and is also described as the moral philosophy. The term ethics is derived from a Greek word ethos, which can mean custom, habit, character or disposition. Thank you everyone for playing the role of a patient and amicable audience. We hope that you enjoyed our skit and got new words full lessons to learn. Here we conclude with our skit, aspiring that you enjoyed it. Thank you once again.